Derek, final game of the, the season, how did you see it? <coughs> um, I wanted to try and enjoy this week, um, and obviously we have done that, I think uh, you know the preparation in the last few days has been as normal, but obviously after the celebrations, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think there were signs of fatigue there, and never really quite played with that edge in that first half, you know, tried to get the balance right, making a few changes, and uh, bringing that freshness and, and uh, enthusiasm to it, but I never enjoyed the first half one bit. Um, I thought we were second to every ball, I thought we were loose in possession, I thought we were dippy and a bit lethargic. Um, and you might think that that's understandable because the main event was done last week and the, when you don't play with that edge, doesn't matter how good a player you have, you don't play with that edge, sometimes that can happen. I thought Wraith were everything but, I thought they were bright, they were incisive with their work, um, they pressed high, they, they, they supported quickly. Um, and it was a tough 45 minutes. Um, obviously, we get the players in and look for that response. And, and what you see in the second half, not just the changes making us better, but the whole mindset and approach second half showed that real competitive side of Kilmarnock like that, that we've seen in the last few months. Um, and we showed exactly why it was important we never lost the game. We scored a very good goal. We should have scored a couple more. I know we hit the bar and they hit the bar. Um, when we were down to 10 men, um, we were hanging in with a few tired bodies out there. And we picked up a few injuries, which isn't helpful, but um, we didn't want the tonight to end in a defeat and the players' performance second half made sure that was exactly the case. And some nice scenes, a nice occasion to be able to share that with the supporters given as well you got a result. Yeah, you know, it feels as if we've almost had two kind of parties. Last week was that pure Disney finish and really dramatic and, and everybody who was in the ground will remember that last Friday, it was special and um, you know, it was fantastic to witness that. We then had to go and go again and come up here. The fans made the effort. We mentioned that yesterday. It was team talk. We mentioned it again today. We mentioned it at half time. Um, you know, and I felt they were due a better performance than what we were getting first half. And I felt we owed it to ourselves to be better than we were. So, um, so the reasons, understandable reasons for maybe the lack of, of coming off the levels in the first half. Um, but what pleased me was the fact that we picked the game up second half and. Showed the real version of ourselves, and you know the players deserve a lot of credit. A lot of tired bodies out there. A few looking over at the bench, try, <laughs> thinking they'd run the race, but with no more bodies to, to put on, we used our subs, and um, you know. And I thought it was a, it was nice at the end celebrating with the fans again. The fans were amazing tonight. You know, proper support. We start to finish, came, enjoyed themselves, and they did exactly that. And you know, I can't really thank them enough for that. Plenty of players got their own little songs at the end, but Chris Burke was one that got his own special ovation. He was captain tonight yeah. as well. What about him? And, and has he gonna, what, what is the plan? Is he is he going to let you know what he's going to do? What, what's, what's I haven't spoken to any player regarding the futures. We, we'd mentioned, um, we'd spoke about the fact that we needed to get the league one, and that was a priority. Um, obviously, winning uh, the league last week has allowed us to try and accelerate things, but I didn't want any of the focus coming off tonight's game. Um, so while we've having conversations in the background with one or two other agents and players and stuff like that, um, we wanted to do our business properly, co uh, conclude tonight's work, and then we'll speak to all the players who are out of contract, the players who are under contract uh, over the next few days. Um, and obviously, um, I thought it was brilliant for Berkey tonight. The, the, the love and affection the fans have for him um, is undoubted, and, uh, and rightly so. Um, and he was captain tonight because we wanted him to start. Um, the party played last week, and the party he's played in Commander's successes over the years has been uh, uh, really prevalent. And uh, you know he's he's a fantastic boy to work with.